need to tune in to figure out how Vincent lost all those pounds. Is it weird to do the skinny right after talking about an overweight dog? Overweight dog. The skinny overweight dog. Love it. Well, time now for the skinny and topping our headlines this morning, Ben Affleck's next challenge. Warner Brothers has confirmed that it is moving forward with the Oscar winner's standalone Batman movie, which Affleck will not only star in, but he'll also direct. Okay, so the new Batman movie is one of 10 DC Comics movies that Warner plans to release over the next five years. The first movie to feature Affleck as the Cape Crusader, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, had a $166 million opening weekend. We should also caveat that it had a 68% drop off in the second weekend. Yeah, it didn't do so great <laughs> after people after that saw point. it. Have you seen it? I have not seen it, no. I'm waiting for it to get should I? Ex express mail to DVD. Yeah, I took that whole drop off thing as a sign that maybe I should wait. Yeah. Well, but maybe the next one will be better. Do Let's like hope. I do like Ben Affleck, so. And he's a good director. And now Batman. to a less than groundbreaking admission from Keith Richards. Yeah, the 72-year-old Rolling Stones rocker has broken his silence about what's really behind his colorful wardrobe. Uh, they're not all his clothes, apparently. Um, and he didn't go to the thrift store for it. In fact, he admits the vast majority of his clothes he swiped out of the closets of his wife and daughters over the years. That's one way to do it. Richards was apparently complaining that his wardrobe was raided for the band's first ever major exhibition called Exhibitionism a at a gallery in Southwest London. He says he still wears those things. They're not history, they're his clothes. They're his clothes. These are mine, by the way. You cannot, those are? Come you on. Cannot, don't get do any little, ideas. We could do a little gender bender thing. And <laughs> uh, I see. And a, I, uh, it's already rolling my head. I know, like, I can see the I Photoshop issue going on right now. Yeah, that would be <laughs> something don't you don't fit. want to see. We'll see. Is that a fat joke? <laughs> Vincent. <laughs> Vincent. Next to something that Harrison Ford will definitely not be wearing ever again. He has auctioned off his distressed leather Han Solo jacket, the one he wore in the latest Star Wars movie, The Force Awakens. It went for $191,000. And Harrison Ford promptly handed all that money over to charity. Now, is that a spoiler alert by saying he won't be wearing it ever again? I mean, that's because he auctioned it off. Okay, all right. So, Good point. can't wear it again. Get us out of trouble there. Got rid of it. Yep. Someone else now owns it. Yes, it's gone. The gift will benefit epilepsy research, which uh, his 25-year-old daughter, Georgia, and also his second wife, uh, the late Melissa Matheson had suffered years of health scares and seizures before finally being diagnosed. More than 50 people bid on the jacket, which started at just $15,000. So there you go. All going to a good cause. Yeah, good deal. And finally, there's a lot of puppy love to go around this morning for one of our own World News Now alums. Anderson Cooper, a legend around here, has shared this touching photo <laughs> on Instagram. It is kind of cute. Oh, how cute! It is of... Uh, Andy cuddling his new puppy, Lily. The caption reads, my dog Molly passed away a few months ago. This weekend, Lily showed up. She's a Welsh a Springer Spaniel and he hashtagged it. The rainbow comes and goes. The post comes just seven months after the death of his 11 year old dog, Molly. She was also a Welsh Springer Spaniel. Our warmest wishes, of course, to Anderson and his new little girl. That's very cute. Now I want a puppy. I do want one as well, but you have a rabbit. Yeah, don't tell Frank I said that. <laughs> rabbits attack puppies, or is it the other way around? No. Puppies attack rabbits. No one attacks anyone. They're all going to get along just fine, and I'm going to have all of them. Okay, Eventually. we'll see how that works out. <laughs> Coming up, how's this for a tease? Um, Diane dances. It's a thriller. This is news to me. This is, a, <laughs> this is totally a tease to me. Your, your thriller moves. You I know? don't know. We're talking about the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah. All right, fine. No, you'll practice it. I'll have to go watch the video now before we go to the commercial break. Are you going to do it with me? No, no. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. You know you. Okay. No? I really kind of want to. <laughs>